Yeah, yo, Galau, top of the tip, top, top. It's your boy, N-O-R-E-K. You already know what time it is, baby. First and foremost, go ahead and drop them forks in the comment without further ado. You dig? We want to um, show some appreciation, show some love for hitting that uh, hitting that 1K followers on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know your boy was on TikTok too, right? 1K followers, baby. We're able to go live now. If anybody is familiar with how TikTok works, all you can do is post, um, share, you know, different things, comment until you get 1,000 followers. Once you get 1,000 followers, then your account becomes verified and you can go live. And then that's how you gain more momentum by going live and interacting with people, um, doing the match games, you know, a bunch of different things. So on both uh, both channels, we're over a thousand followers. That's Norik underscore the number four real N E R E A L Norik for real on TikTok. And the other one is Meet the McFarlands. M E E T T A T M C F A R L A N E S. Meet the McFarlands. Both hit a thousand followers. Uh, went live. And test the waters. Yeah, man, we're about to have some fun with this thing. Now we just got to get the YouTube up to 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K. You dig? Hey, but yeah, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us as we grow. Like I always say, slow motion is better than no motion. But uh, on today, on today, on today, we just going to bring y'all a little snippet of uh, Jada and Will. Once again, you know, they stand in the blog, man. I wish I could say my heart goes out to him. I feel for him, though. I do. I feel for him. For Will. Like, the man is... He's... he's, Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know the words to put it into context for you guys, but Will is one of those people, in my opinion, that's... He's a strong individual. Right? Physically. Strong individual. And... In some areas, I can say that he is a, he's a strong individual um, mentally, emotionally, because to, to deal with something of that magnitude and still encourage yourself and others to persevere, to push through, it's not a tough, not a tough, it's not an easy pill to swallow. It's a tough pill, tough cookie to bite into, you dig? Um, we've all seen throughout the years how the ups and the downs, you know, they've had a lot of ups, great people, you know what I mean? Great individuals at what, at what they do. Um, now when it comes to the, the, the blog, the media, the entanglements, this, that, and the third. Now, you know, it takes two to tango. So Jayla's not the only one at fault. Don't get me wrong. I'm not pl placing blame on one or the other. They both have kind of lost lost sight of what the vision, what their vision was initially, you know, and throughout this clip, you'll hear as Jada revealed how she really felt about Will from the beginning, and Will kind of was, was the one that wanted to stick it out, want to get married, because they got pregnant with, um, I think, Jaden or Jay, one of them, one of the kids, they were pregnant with Willow, somebody, um, but yeah, you know, sometimes we chase the image versus creating, you know, that family bond, that structure. And this is a perfect example of money cannot buy happiness, guys. Money cannot buy happiness. Money cannot buy happiness. Don't get me wrong, it helps. You take trips, you can buy what you want, you can go where you want, for, most, for the most part, but it still don't make you happy internally. You dig? If, you, if you're in a, in a situation like that right now, or if you've been in one, or if you know somebody that, that has been or are in one, man, drop a fork, you know. Drop a fork, drop the hands, because we're going to keep them in our prayers, you know what I'm saying. Hopefully they can persevere and um, see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because I wouldn't encourage nobody to stay in a toxic situation, whether it's for the kids' sake, for uh, alimony, matrimony, um, <laughs> Child support, I, if, man, listen, if you're not happy, dip. Like they say, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. 
<laughs> but yeah, it's your boy N O R E K, baby. Uh, 1K followers on TikTok. N O R E K for real on TikTok. Meet the McFarlands on TikTok. Y'all go run the numbers up some more. We're going to go live later on today. We're going to do some interactions, maybe some matches. If anybody can go live with me, y'all send an invite and let's do it, baby. But yeah, without further ado, fair use only on this clip, on this audio, on the image. And we're going to let y'all hear what's going on, man. It's a sad sight, but, you know. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy. Are Will and Jada heading towards an ugly divorce? After the Oscars slap, there's been a lot of talk in the media about Will and Jada's marriage and fans have accused Jada of manipulating and controlling Will. Many fans have also urged Will to leave Jada and they think the only thing that can save Will's reputation now is getting as far away from Jada as possible. Well, Will may just end up taking his fans' advice, because sources close to Will and Jada are now saying the Oscars controversy was the straw that broke the camel's back, and the Smiths may be at the end of their 25-year marriage. Even before the whole slap situation, fans have been wondering for years why Will and Jada insist on staying married when they're clearly not happy together. Remember when Will and Jada discussed Jada's entanglement with August Alsina on Red Table Talk, and they said this? We ride together, we, we die, die together. together. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> Y'all hear this shit? <laughs> and that's the definition of insanity. Right there. Perfect example. They both they both throw the fuck out. That's why I say you can't place all the blame on Jada, nor can you place all the blame on Will. It takes two to tango. If if I if I have this type of mentality and say Okay, well, whatever happens in our marriage, no matter what, we not bad, we ride together, die together, bad marriage for life. Like, openly joking about it, whether it's for views, for likes, to gain notoriety. Like, it, internally, they don't truly feel that way. You know what I mean? They saying that because it sounds good to pacify the and hide the emotions. Like, real talk. You know, that's just my opinion. But, yeah, man. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. What was that? As Charlemagne the God pointed out, Will and Jada basically said that no matter how your partner treats you and how miserable you are, you should just stay together. We ride together, die together, bad marriage for life. What was that? Well, what kind of message was that sending? Just stick together for the state, the sake of being together? Don't try to make your marriage healthy? Don't try to get to a place of wholeness in your marriage? And this wasn't the only time Will and Jada publicly admitted that they weren't happy in their marriage. Back in 2015, the same year Jada met August Alsina, Will talked about his relationship with Jada at the LA premiere of his movie Concussion, and he described his marriage as the most difficult and painful thing he's done in his life. Our marriage was the most difficult, grueling, and excruciating thing that we've ever been taken on in our lives. I mean, sure, everyone knows marriage is hard work, but don't you think calling it grueling and excruciating is a red flag? Will also added that he and Jada are not quitters and that they'll keep on working on themselves individually. You know, we're just not quitters. And then by the same token, we're not apathetic. So we're not going to sit there and let it, you know, be painful. We're going to keep working. Well, we know how Jada worked on herself. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. And then... He said, I was in a lot of pain and very broken. Yeah, August had you in a lot of pain and <laughs> very broken. No, nah, with all jokes aside, man, you know, that that's, again, the definition of insanity, you know, because for a person to keep doing the same things and expecting different results is truly the definition of insanity because you know what you're dealing with. It's like if you go and you go try to pet a snake and the snake turns around and bites you, are you going to go back and do it again? Some people may. Some people may, because they're insane. They, 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 the logic is just not, it don't add up, right? So in a marriage, it's the same thing. It's like, okay, if, 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 if we're not happy, do we go create this open relationship, as, as they call it, versus, you know what, let's take time to work on us and figure out if this is what we really want. Yeah, you know, people start off young. People got them, them, them googly eyes and their butterflies and then, as time progresses, as time goes on, sometimes the flame 
will dim itself or it, or it gets dim. It gets overshadowed, whether it's by having kids, now you're raising kids, you're dealing with a career, they both have careers, awesome careers, even the kids, you know. But then that alone can be overwhelming and kind of dim that light, dim that, you know, the romance. And then now you start looking elsewhere for that, 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 that longing that you had at one point, that, that yearn for that touch. You know what I mean? Like I said, love languages. Check out the video I made about love languages. You know, what's yours? Maybe they need to sit at the red table and have a talk about love language. Maybe that might have helped. Sometimes it ain't about just running to a therapist or to a, a shrink to talk about your problems. Sometimes you can discuss it amongst each other first. You know, but you have to be open-minded. You have to be open-hearted because we can block something mentally and in here with, before it even gets here. So by the time you get here, if all this, this is shut down and this is shut down, guess what? I'm not hearing you. Well, I'm hearing you, but I'm not listening. Real talk. Drop them forks. Let me know what y'all think. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. It was yeah. a relationship. Absolutely. But what about Will? Well, in his September 2021 interview with GQ, Will actually claimed that Jada wasn't the only one having entanglements. Will explained that most people walked away from watching that Red Table Talk interview thinking Jada was the only one engaging in other sexual relationships, when that was not the case. Will also gave GQ a draft of his memoir, Will, in which he talked about his early marriage years and revealed he and Jada butted heads from the very start. In one part of his memoir, Will talked about how Jada never wanted a traditional marriage ceremony, but she gave in to his pressure. This would be the first of many compromises Jada would make over the years that painfully negated her own values, Will wrote. He then went on to admit that he pressured Jada to move into a huge 256-acre compound that she hated. Nothing good comes from spending your hard-earned money on a family home that your wife doesn't want, Will wrote. You are putting a down payment on Discord, and for years, you will be paying off a mortgage of misery, or worse. Mm. But Will still went on and made that down payment. And as for Jada, Will said she would wake up many mornings in tears. And then- Again, money don't buy happiness. Money cannot buy happiness. 250 acre compound, right? Imagine the, the, the lavishness of this, this, um, of this estate right but again jada already has money will has money so no matter what you buy me i'm not looking for the material things and that's that's sometimes we get blinded by that thinking that material things if i go buy her a bigger car a newer car bigger house newer house that that's gonna uh, fulfill that void it's not it's not man you gotta do some deep soul searching again five love languages which one do you identify with? I'm just saying, tap in. And after Jada turned 40, the tension between her and Will reached a boiling point. According to Will, he spent three years planning a surprise dinner with friends and family where he wanted to screen a documentary that chronicled Jada's life and traced her family's lineage back to slavery. But when Jada found out what he did, she flew into a fit of rage and told Will that his plan was the most disgusting display of ego she has ever seen in her life. Mm. That night, Will and Jada had an explosive fight that got so loud that their daughter Willow, who was 10 at the time, emerged crying with her hands over her ears, begging them to stop. Our marriage wasn't working, Will wrote in the memoir draft he gave to GQ. We could no longer pretend. We were both miserable and clearly something had to change. But according to GQ, at this point, the manuscript ended suddenly and Will didn't explain exactly what he meant by something had to change. And then finally, when GQ pressed Will for an answer and asked him if this change meant dating other people, Will admitted that at one point his marriage to Jada stopped being monogamous. He then went on to claim that Jada never believed in conventional marriage because she grew up in a family where many people had unconventional relationships. Will explained that he and Jada chose monogamy without considering that maybe monogamy is not, as he put it, relational perfection. We have given each other trust and freedom with the belief that everybody has to find their own way, Will said. And marriage for us can't be a prison. Mm. Yeah. That's a mouthful right there. Wow. What do you think about a that? A mouthful. What I think about it, 
is that <clears throat> sometimes you can be unconsciously like sleeping with the enemy. Mm -hmm. um, because again, like both of these perks, both of these people right here are well off as far as money. They're wealthy. They they got all the accolades. You know, they can pretty much go where they want, buy what they want, do what they want. But does that equate to happiness? No. I agree. I don't think it does either. Um, and then also marriage is supposed to be sacred. Like, exactly. So just to, you know, oh, it's okay. You can go sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. And then as long as we're still together, that don't even make sense. At all. At all. At like all. you might as well be single and mingle. Ooh, single and mingle, she said. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know? <laughs> now you're right. You're absolutely right. Like that to me is just. I think what it was is they they both got into a point to where okay they've been together twenty some years. They felt like they have probably missed out on certain opportunities to probably be with who they really wanted to be with. Mm -hmm. Jada, I know had a thing for Pac. We all know. Right. Will, I don't know who he had a thing for, but I'm sure he's done his thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So now that you're pushing on late 30s, early 40s, now you're kind of like, all right, well, I guess we'll try to make it work, you know, yeah. using, using it as a scapegoat versus going to seek true happiness. Now you got two, three kids in. You know, some people, people stay together for the wrong reasons all the time. Right. All the time. But their kids are grown, too. Like, now, yeah. So, but, I mean, even with that, it obviously you can get divorced, right? Right. Or just wait to get married until you get all your fun out the way. Right. You know, like... Pretty much. Yeah, but Jada said that she didn't even want to get married, according to Will. But I guess when she got pregnant with the first child, her mom was like, I need to get married. And, you know, Will, he felt like he had a trophy wife, so mm -hmm. he wanted to lock her down, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. but and now his trophy is beating him over the head. That part. This trophy is now a necklace for everybody else. Yeah. Everybody get to wear it once. <laughs> <laughs> I should say. Drop the forks. Drop the forks. He then said that although he doesn't suggest his road for anybody, open marriage for him is the highest definition of love. Jada mm. also mm. publicly mm. Wow. The highest definition of love. Wow. <laughs> wow. Explain that. <laughs> open marriage is the highest definition of love. What you think, Z man? You don't agree with that. Huh? I love you so much that we can just screw anybody. Knock it off. Wow. Knock it off. She That's never wanted gross. to get married and felt Super. pressured by her mom to go through yeah, with the wedding because she was already pregnant with Jaden. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to get married, and now Gammy done gone to Will crying about <laughs> I don't want to have a wedding, and now I'm being forced to have a wedding. And another reason why Jada has always appeared resentful of Will could be because she believed she had to put her own career on the back burner for the sake of her family. Now, Jada used to be the front woman. I thought about that, and I was like, you know what, maybe she's a little envious also of how Will's career just kind of skyrocketed and hers stayed stagnant for mm -hmm. a little while after, like, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and, like, um, you know, she's done a lot of movies, but... Nothing on the on the level of what Will Smith has done. So to be with a partner sometimes, so I say it's kind of like sleeping with the enemy, because we both successful, but you're you're a little bit more or a lot more successful than I am in the public eyes. Mm -hmm. To where now the attention is mainly on you. Mm -hmm. You know. And but I think she probably felt like at that point, once with, once they got married. She had to be a wife, so she mm -hmm. had to take a back seat to Will's career mm -hmm. in order to be a mother, be a mother. you know, raise yeah. her kids and all of that stuff. But, I mean, that I understand that, right? Obviously, we have kids, mm -hmm. so I understand, you know, taking a back seat. We both can't go out and, and grind like we used to, right? Mm -hmm. Because one somebody has to be there to raise their kids. It's mm -hmm. not... Oh yeah, we can hire a nanny because they could have. They could have hired a nanny. Which I'm sure but, they did. Yeah, times. but to be present right. is something totally different, and that's something that we talk about, right? Like it's one thing to say, "Oh yeah, we got kids," and you know all that, and let your kids sit sit downstairs and watch YouTube all day, 
but to be present and to take your kids out and, you know, take them to the park or whatever, let them ride their bike, run around with them, all that stuff. That sometimes that takes a toll on a mother. Yeah. So, right. but still, like, can't nobody force your hand to get married at the end of the day? Not your That's mama, funny. not your daddy or nobody else. Right. You know, hey, we, we had a kid. I'm a mother. He's a father. I'm going to do my job. He's going to do his job. But we don't got to be together. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, and even, like I said, even if they want to be together to raise their kid, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to, you don't have to get married. Right. No, you're right. And then embarrass your partner every chance you get. Because I feel like every chance Jada gets, she is off the rails, embarrassing Will in some True. kind of way. I totally agree with that. But, but on the flip side to that is like... Yeah, we see, and, and it's always one person that's outspoken in a situation. The other person is kind of like, you know, uh, timid or quiet. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, you know, Jada's the one that's always outspoken and kind of bashing Will and making him look like a, like an asshole, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think I don't think that that's justification to resent someone because. We have kids, man or woman. Like if they feels on the other, the shoes on the other foot, and her career would have blossomed, and Will would have stayed where he was. But but she didn't. They both blossomed. But I'm just saying, like in my opinion, Will is a bigger star than her in Hollywood's eyes. Mm -hmm. um, it's I don't think that's a reason to resent someone because your career is taking off now. My kid's career is taking off now. Mm -hmm. Let me be. Let me sit at home and be a father, or let you sit at home and be a mother. I, I don't know. I can I can speak on it from the outside looking in because we're not there yet as far as you know uh, what they say celebrities or whatever. Right. But um, not that we're looking for that either. But I, I don't think that's a reason to resent your partner and go out and do other things. So I feel like there's more, a lot more to the story internally that you know Will can be seem like a quiet cool dude you know he got he got the profile look like a nice guy but who knows behind closed door what type of ass, you know what I mean type mm -hmm. of asshole he might be mm -hmm. you know what I mean I'm just saying you never know woman of the new metal band Wicked Wisdom and back in 2011 she told Redbook magazine that she turned down an opportunity for her band to open for Guns N' Roses just so that Will and Jaden could continue shooting in the pursuit of happiness I had to make choices, Jada said, but I have children with their own talents and dreams, and I know I have to be standing next to them for that journey. It was excruciating. When Jaden was auditioning for The Pursuit of Happiness, my band had just gotten an offer to open for Guns N' Roses in Europe. And in the light of this whole Oscar slap controversy, many fans, and some celebs like Benzino, have speculated that Jada's always trying to sabotage Will because she's jealous of his success. Maybe she's looking at Will as so successful, and so big, maybe I think that's where she wants to be. It's 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 in. And we just said that. Mm -hmm. We literally just said that. Yeah. You know, and again, everybody have their opinions. Everybody don't make your opinion facts. But that's just our opinion. But that's how it looked. That's that's how it's coming off. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You wanna say hi to the people? Tell them drop them forks in the comment. Tell them. Drop the forks. I ain't said drop the forks in the comments. Mm -hmm. But those of y'all that don't know who I'm talking to, it's my wifey. Y'all go follow her page, Back to Natural. All right? Back, number two, natural. Uh, more to come. And like I said, the TikToks have finally reached 1K followers. So we're going live on both channels. Um, yeah, man, go run the numbers up. We're just giving y'all a little, our opinion on the whole Jada and Will thing. And just in general, you know what I mean? Just relationships, period. Like, um... Why be resentful? Why not just move on? Sometimes it's it's easier to stay put and deal with the foolishness, I know mentally, than to actually get up, pack your stuff, or leave your stuff and go start over. Sometimes that seems like the hardest thing in life to do, but mm -hmm. it's worth it sometimes. Yeah, you know what they not, say? I'm not saying, huh? Oh, I was gonna say what they say, it's cheaper to keep it. It's cheaper to keep it. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep it. That's, that's, that's a true statement. Because if people got kids, and that statement can go many different, many different levels. Yeah. You know, if you got kids, even if you and you and the lady 
openly want to, you know, agree that, okay, we're, we're not going to be together. Sometimes the women, when they think about it, if they're not in a position financially and you are, they're going to try to rape you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or if the man ain't where he need to be mentally and you moved on and now you happy with your new dude, they're going to try to make your life miserable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So sometimes, yeah, it is cheaper to keep her, but is it, is you know, that void's still going to be there and you're always going to be looking for that love language. Right. So that's my opinion. But we're going to let a little bit more of it play. Don't forget to drop them forks in the comments. And uh, it's your boy in the world, okay? Yeah. In that realm of watching him be huge, major, and she, you know, before they got together, she had she was pretty big. Most fans agreed with Benzino and said it definitely seems like Jada just can't stand to see Will happy and enjoy his success. She doesn't want to be known as or regress to just Will's wife, one fan said. She wants to be in the spotlight. Call it what it is, jealousy. And another person commented, Jada is jealous of her husband. She resents his superstardom and his success. That's why she continues to publicly humiliate and emasculate him. When she stayed in her seat while her husband sabotaged the biggest night of his career, I knew that she did not love or respect her husband. He's been sleeping with the enemy mm. this whole time. <laughs> respect. That's a big He's one. been sleeping with the enemy. I said it. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Respect. Once that respect goes out the window, it's like, what do you That's have it. left? You have nothing left because in order to have trust, in order to have anything, you got to have respect. They all, they all come together. They all go together. You know, you can't have respect and not love. You can't have love and not respect. It's just, it's unbalanced. Right. It's unbalanced. You got to have both, you know, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people may take uh, fear as respect. Know the difference. It's two, it's two totally different things. Just because somebody fear your reaction to something that you may do if they respond a certain way doesn't mean they respect you. Mm -hmm. They're just tolerating it until they build up enough courage to either walk away or kill your ass. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Straight up. And if you think about it, it really does seem like Jada's now enjoying all the attention. <laughs> yes, it's negative attention, but it doesn't look like she's bothered one bit by people calling her out. On Saturday, April 9th, Jada made her first public appearance after the Oscars clap at the grand opening of the Shonda Rhimes Performing Arts Center in Los Angeles. And many fans pointed out how she was very happy to be in the spotlight. Very happy. We're going to end it on that note, man. Um, Jada and Will. Jada and Will. All about her again, one fan said. A narcissist's uh -huh. dream. Publicity. A narcissist drink. And another person Didn't added, she, she has a red table show where they discuss very personal, private things. When you air out your dirty laundry, your dirty laundry is out there forever. Puts things into context when you see the videos, given what happened. Jada is selfish, manipulative, self-centered. Mm. And even if you... What did you say? Didn't she put him on the spot again after that? Saying like, oh, yeah. I didn't want him to do Absolutely. that. I wish he wouldn't have done that or something. Yeah. Allegedly, mm -hmm. she did that. I was like, jeez. Yeah, I saw a video of her and she was just like, it was almost like she was talking in like parables. Because mm -hmm. what she was saying wasn't really making sense other than the fact of, well, dogging Will out once again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Will tripping. And then Will end up in a mental hospital uh, days later or a day later. You know, a typical rich people shit. Mm -hmm. You do some bullshit and then you go playing insanity type shit like nigga. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. Mental health is very serious. You're right. Not not denouncing that, not downplaying that. And clearly Will is having a mental breakdown. You know, from just his career alone to dealing with the family issues, right. dealing with the media, the, you know, everything else that comes with it, man. It's a lot to take on. So I say that to say, be careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. You know, be careful what you ask for. But yeah, it's your boy N-O-R-E-K, man. We're going to end it on that note. Jada and Will, hey, prayers up for y'all, for your family. I hope y'all get through these these little rainy days or whatever you want to call it. You know, y'all make a good couple, but that's on the external. If y'all not happy internally, it ain't too late. Y'all still young. Y'all, what y'all, half a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> still got another half to go, man. Go on out there. If, 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 what's his name, August Alcina? If that show, if that show, you know, your soulmate, Jada, go on get him. Will, hey, if uh, who was it? Who was this girl? Lisa was, was her name? 
<laughs> What's that, Lisa? If Lisa and George, bro, go get it, bro. It ain't too late uh, unless they already happily married. They may be together. <laughs> Always and Lisa. <laughs> but we go, man. It's your boy N O R E K. And back to natural. Y'all go stop by her channel. Y'all drop them thumbs up. Y'all spam up that uh that bell. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. You dig? Let us know you there. And um until next time. Y'all tell a friend to tell a friend. It's your boy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>